Hello children today we are going to start the topic practical geometry of class 8 in practical geometry we learn to construct geometrical figures with proper measurements using various geometrical instruments do you remember some figures which you have constructed in your junior classes yes you have constructed various types of angles angle bisector and perpendicular bisector and also various types of triangles This year you are going to learn how to construct a quadrilateral. Before we start the construction, let us find out what is a quadrilateral. If we mark four different points on a sheet of paper and join them to form a closed figure, the figure which we obtain is called a quadrilateral. So it has four sides and four angles. If we join the opposite vertices of a quadrilateral, then we get the diagonals. This quadrilateral ABCD has two diagonals AC and BD. For constructing a figure we need our geometrical instruments that is a scale, a pencil, a compass and a protractor. So are you ready with your instruments? Fine, then let's learn how to construct a quadrilateral. So there are basically four types of constructions. Today we are going to learn the first type Quadrilaterals are constructed in different ways under different conditions. So today we are going to take up the condition where all the four sides and one of the diagonals are given to you. The best way to start is making a rough figure. So here is our rough figure. Now let's start the construction. As per the rough figure we have to first construct the diagonal and then we will draw the two triangles one above and one below this diagonal. So let's start by drawing the diagonal. When you are drawing the diagonal take care that enough space is left above and below the diagonal. So keeping your scale at the center of the page draw a line segment of 5 cm that is equal to PR. name the end points as p and r next we have to construct triangle pqr above this line segment pr as pq is equal to 3 cm we will take radius of 3 cm on our compass using a scale Taking P as center, we will draw an arc above PR. Similarly, taking QR equal to four centimeter as radius, we will draw another arc intersecting the first arc at point Q. So Q is the point of intersection of arcs. Using a scale, join points P, Q, and QR. This completes the upper triangle. Similarly, we will draw the lower triangle. For the lower triangle, PS is equal to 4 cm and RS is equal to 3.5 cm. So, taking 4 cm as radius and center at P, draw an arc below PR. Next, with center R and radius 3.5 cm, draw another arc intersecting the previous arc. This point of intersection will be named as S. Using your scale, join PS and PR, and thus we get the quadrilateral PQRS. Now try this question yourself. I have made the rough figure for your reference. Complete the construction and then cross-check your answer.
I hope you could get the correct answer. In the next question, we are only given B E and E T, and we have to construct rhombus B E S T. Why we are given only two measures? That's because a rhombus is a quadrilateral in which all the sides are equal. Look at the rough figure. We will take all the sides of this quadrilateral as 4.5 centimeters. Clearly, E T is the diagonal. So let's draw the figure. So children this is all for today I hope you enjoyed making these quadrilaterals we will meet again in another video with another type of construction of quadrilaterals till then take care and keep practicing